number of years ago, we started to realize that there was um, a bit of a disconnect between city dwellers and, uh, and their food production and where it comes from and what it takes to produce different crops and different foods. Uh, and bees are really important, so they pollinate uh, our food. They're responsible for one in three of our bites of food. We started putting hives in backyards and realized that it was a great community builder. Uh, it was a great educational tool, very captivating when you see a hive in the city uh, to realize that this is a living space. So there's definitely a perception that these are these stinging insects that are really dangerous and they're kind of out for blood. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, a lot of there's a lot of wonder actually when you open a hive and, and look inside and see the bees working together. Uh, they're a social insect and, and there's a lot of parallels you can draw between people and, and the bees in the way that you can't accomplish much as a solitary uh, honeybee and you can't accomplish too much as a single individual. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of community building aspect to it and that was our first draw to it. Before we did this for other organizations as we do now, we started to do it for ourselves and for our neighbors. Um, and, uh, and realize that, hey, this is kind of cool. We're building a sense of community and a sense of know-how with people as well because most people, it's a totally foreign concept for. So the queen lays eggs full-time. That's her full-time job. Uh, she creates pheromones as well that help with the cohesion of the hive and its function, but mainly she'll, she'll be laying around 1,200, 1,500 eggs a day at this time of year, which is about her body weight in eggs. This part here, is the capped over sort of cocoon stage. It's the pupa stage and you can see there's a honeybee. She's just chewing her way out being born right now.